Hey, so has anyone gotten a little concerned about how prevalent gestalts have gotten since we last spoke about them two years ago? Cause I mean, seriously, these moon projections are bloody everywhere nowadays. From a quantum surge in their sources to an enlightened view of all of their polar mechanics, I'm thinking it might be time to get a little loony again, everyone. So let's praise Alter. Well, perhaps not yet, actually. For you see, while there are now more chances to encounter these things than ever before, the majority of players will still be finding them in their original hunting grounds, the Lunar Island and the Lunar Grotto. Head to either of these biomes at any time, and Gestalt will not be too far behind, but progress the end game to the summoning of the Moonstorms here, and things start to get very, very interesting. Not only will these Lunar Ghosts litter these storms, they will now form all throughout our world each and every night, leading up to the eventual death of the Celestial Champions even if we're on the water mind. But speaking of, the Celestial Champion and all of its nonsense wasn't actually a thing back in that first video, and it too now spawns Gestalt's. Phase 1 will attempt to put us to sleep with a very small ring of the things. Phase 2 will slice a wave or two of greater Gestalt's towards us that actually deal quite a bit of damage, so more on the potential of that in a bit. And finally, Phase 3 will combine the two essentially in a much larger attack that can be truly devastating if not avoided. So avoid it. It's neat stuff, but neater still might be the fact that we ourselves can also now command Gestalt via the Enlightened Crown. As long as our sanities remain above 85%, every hit landed by us will summon a mini Greater Gestalt that will deal an additional 42.5 damage if it hits as well. Do note though, that every hit landed with a crown on will drain our sanities by one each time too, meaning that all of these attacks will not be lasting long without help. Make notes. But hold up, Beard. What exactly are these greater Gestalt things? Ah, yes. While we will be expanding upon all Gestalt mechanics in a minute here, you should know that the first ever greater Gestalt you will encounter will be down in the grotto no matter what. After activating the ancient archive, these cooler looking ghosts start to appear in overwhelming numbers all about the joint. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. They are tough little sons of guns. And while that will be a problem for us in a time here, they're really only a problem for the nightmares that also generate in large quantities down here for the time being. The war has begun, everyone. But yes, how exactly do both variants of Gestalt's work? Well, if our enlightenment is above 25%, normal Gestalt's will first begin to appear in both the grotto and on the island. But as you can see, they're a bit more concerned about avoiding us at this point than anything. Come 50% enlightenment and above though, Gestalt will enter a defensive stance when we approach, and if we happen to get close enough, they will eventually attack us. That said, Gestalt's don't actually deal any damage, and instead add both 10 enlightenment per hit, plus a little grogginess here and there. Reach 80% enlightenment and above however, and the little guys will start to target us outright, even if we didn't provoke them. But again, they can't actually hurt us, not directly that is, as one hit will slow us for about 7 seconds, and 2 hits back to back simply puts us asleep for roughly 6 seconds, which will be followed by a bit of grogginess too, as always. Normal Gestals are not that threatening in any way, and are honestly pretty skittish too if you know what sets them off. Dark Swords left or dropped on the ground will have them thinking twice about lashing out at us as you can see, and Night Lights themselves repel them better than most things too if you happen to have them. It's a really Really cool hidden component of Gestalt as a whole, but if we move on up a level, things change dramatically. Greater Gestalts don't give a crap about shadow stuff, and will not only snuff out night lights, they will attack everything shadow related minus the shadow pieces themselves. Heck, even Maxwell's shadow puppets are not safe in this regard. And if we ourselves start wearing some shadow gear, say like night armor or dark swords, we too are going to enter a world of hurt as well. These guys deal a whopping 180 damage each, so you have to be aware of what you're doing around them. And seeing as even more gear was added to their hit list mere weeks ago, gear like shadow thurples, magician top hats, and the alarming clock, some characters are going to have a harder time than others. 
so good luck. But hold up once again, Beard. Are you telling me that there is absolutely no way to counter any of this nonsense? Not at all, friends. We just haven't gotten all that, you impatient numpties. Once an enlightened crown is atop our noggins, no natural gestalt will ever attack us ever again, even if we also happen to be wearing some shadow gear with sad crowns. Moon shrooms were added right alongside the Grotto's Gestalt many, many moons ago in hopes of being a future counter to them, and that they are. If used correctly, that is. Raw shrooms will actually put us to sleep, while cooked caps will instantly remove any grogginess you have to your name at any moment as seen here, so you know which one to use, of course. And finally, putting every shroom in this game in one place actually creates the ultimate sleepiness killer, Mushy Cake. Seriously, munching even one of these down is able to prevent anything, even bear your mind, from rendering us asleep for an entire day. Meaning eating one of these before a Celestial Champion fight could go a long way to negating an attack or two, or at least lessening the impact of one here and there. So enjoy. Oh. But before we go, I would love to finally have some concrete confirmation regarding whether or not Gestalt see a rapid increase in their spawning habits come the day with a night of a full moon, if you know what I mean, while we're on the island or in the grotto as I truly do not know myself. I mean, to me, it certainly feels like it, but I've never actually heard if it is one way or the other, so if someone out there knows the moon's secrets more than me, I'd love to hear about it. But there you have it, everyone. Yet another updated guide, courtesy of a lovely revisit to Gestalt's and their burly, loony, greater cousins. So much has changed for them both over these years, so I am very happy to have bowed my my head to the moon once more. Here's hoping we'll be doing a lot of that in 2023, am I right? Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, praise Alter, and if you have another updated guide idea, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.